Hi, I'm Bill Badrin. Um, I'm actually known as Bilal Badran. And my story begins as a young child. Um, you know, I remember uh, as a, I think I was about five years old or so, when, you know, hearing immigrant or hearing Guinean citizenship uh, was, a, was a thing for me. I uh, had no idea what, what that meant, but I realized who it, who it impacted. Um, my parents, both my mom and dad, uh, came from the Middle East. Um, they originated from different countries. Um, my mom from, you know, from Lebanon and my dad from Kuwait, Saudi Arabia. And uh, fortunately, you know, for them, they were able to come here for school um, and with that transition get their citizenship. However, I remember my grandparents when they, you know, on my mom's side and my dad's side when they came here, um, you know, they had to go through a major process um, through the immigration to get their citizenship. And it was, you know, I can't, I can recall so many times hearing or, or seeing their expression, seeing the stress, um, the, the pain of, of the concern of not getting it, um, not being able to, to stay here and, and by all means I had no idea what that meant. So remembering this story, remembering what it took for them to get their citizenship was something that I, I carry with me because I hope to continue to share that story with you know, my, my kids and my girls. Um, not only to understand where they come from, but also what it took to get here. Um, you know, we hear so many stories of grandparents or parents, you know, great great grandparents, you know, immigrating from here, and we never hear that process of actually what it takes to get here, um, and also why? Why did they come here? You know, I remember my mom saying the war in Lebanon and what was going on. You know, there's so much pain out there that we don't really see on a daily basis, and. They were very appreciative to, you know, have the opportunity to be here. So I hope to continue that education and, and that sharing that story um, for younger generations to come to know that that's a process that we continue to work on. And having an organization like Lighthouse Immigrant Advocacy is amazing. I, I really hope that this continues and this actually spreads through other areas in the country to help immigrants get what they need and join their families. That's the biggest part. So that's my story.